Success fuels ambition. When I get on that stage, I'm ambitious. When I get on that stage, I'm gassed up. When I get on that stage, I'm fired up. My stories are stories that they can relate to. 1% of America is wealthy, 4% of America is rich, and the other 95%, guess what we do? Work every day. DL is just probably the most amazing man ever. DL is one of the ones that show us how to not fall into that 85 percentile and actually put our money away and save for the future. If you float with no place to go, if you don't have a plan, you can end up losing your life just floating along. You guys deserve to win. You deserve to have what you want. This life is going to rob you and choke you to death if you are not willing to stand up for what you want. You guys have the power, you guys have the ability to just make money, but if you don't think right, and you're not educated, and you're not motivated, and you're not willing to learn, and you're not willing to do what it takes, see, you have to be willing to do what it takes to get what you want. Basically breaks everything down for other barbers in the industry. You know what I'm saying? How to save money, how to invest their money, you know what I'm saying? How to actually spend it properly, um, how to actually maybe open up your own shop. He is the epitome of just a master barber and just a businessman. And that is someone that everybody should be able to look up to. He's very inspiring. The things that he says um, are all things that we as younger barbers need to know. He has these great quality about him that hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, replicate and give to others as well, just the same as he does. Don't charge for haircuts ever again. I want you to understand something. Don't you ever charge for another haircut again. Charge for your time. But you gotta have a blueprint. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a purpose. You have to have a goal. You have to have goals. Those goals are gonna change your life. Those goals are gonna save your life. I met Dio about a year ago. And when I tell you that just meeting him and speaking to him the first time, it completely changed my perspective of life. Not as a barber, but as a man, as a family man, as a businessman, you know, as a father. What I want people to understand is they have to find their it. And what is that it? That is the most important thing, is to find your it. See, a lot of people like to spectate and they wish and they, they want to play, but they're not willing to suit up. Life you have to suit up for every single time. Nobody's gonna knock on your door and say, hey, this is opportunity. Opportunity, you have to go get opportunity. You have to be willing to fight for your right to succeed. My job is to help them find that it. My job is to help them understand that if they don't find their it, happiness is, is very slim. You have to know that the essence of life is growth. We have to continue to keep growing. And once we continue to keep growing, then we can glow. Then we can be happy. Then we can help other people. See, part of our life is to be a servant for others like myself. My job is just to serve. My job is just to help people grow. That's it. I learn from everybody. Every day I should be able to learn something new. If I didn't learn something new, then I have failed myself. We don't have time to make any excuses. Why? It's because excuses are for people who don't want to become successful. When you just, just drive yourself to become better, when you drive yourself to just say, I've got to do this, when you drive yourself to say, i got to be a better hairstylist, when you drive yourself to say, i got to be a better master barber, when you start doing those things, guess what? Money is just going to show up. That's more time, that's more interest, that's more experience that you guys have and you are scared to ask for what you're worth, I'm telling you soft as Dr. Scott, your generation. But if you're trying to make money, you have to use your space wisely. If you don't use your space wisely, you're not making the money like you can. Space and time wisely brings residual income. Space and time wisely brings money that comes on a regular basis. Space and time wisely means I'm making multiple streams of income at all times. Is Nike a brand? Their key word says, just what? Just what? But you know that. Has anybody here ever worked for Nike? But you know it. Two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, 
What is that? Amen. Who? <laughs> but how many of you guys worked at McDonald's? But you know what they do? Because they have a system. You need to understand something. Life is not plain checkers, it is chess. Every move that you make from this point forward must be strategic. You want to be wealthy, you will believe that you can do it. You want to be wealthy, you will start networking people who's already there, who's already gone there, but you're still hanging out with the same people. They say if life robs you, it's always an inside job. That means if you're not successful, that's because of you. Don't blame it on no white man. Don't blame it on your girlfriend. Don't blame it on your sister. Don't blame it on your mama. Don't blame it on your daddy. Blame yourself. Everything that we have going on in our lives are self-inflicted. DL Master Bob is a genius. Um, teaches you how to save money. Learn to build your clientele, keep a clientele, learn how to save money. Well, he, he says you gotta have a plan, so you gotta make a plan for myself. Yeah. Make a plan for the future, so make the business better. He's giving you true facts, he's giving you things that you need in life, and you need to get your credit up, you need to do that, because without that, you're not doing much. I need you guys to save your money. I need you guys to believe that you can save some money. I need you to get in the habit the same way you get in the habit of tying your shoes, the same way you get in the habit of brushing your teeth, the same way you get in the habit of putting deodorant on, the same way you get in the habit of ironing your clothes. I need you to get in the habit of saving. If you don't save your money, you will not have anything later on. Because the older you get, the slower you get. I think people are looking for change in their lives. And after they come from my seminars, they get it. They understand it. They feel it. They want other people to know about it because they're excited about it. They're excited about their new destiny, their new change in life. They're excited about saying, hey, if I can do this, then I can change the destiny of my family situation if I just do it. See, it goes back to that it again. If I can get it, if I can do it, if I can make it happen for me, I can make it happen for my family. See, a lot of us are living a life of what we feel like is a generational thing, but it's not. It's an individual thing. And I attack that individual heart. Even though I'm speaking to masses, I'm speaking to one person at a time, in my mind. So what do I feel that people are getting out of it? I think they're getting all of it because they're getting all of me.